Good morning, I'm Mike from Scoutadelic and this month is all about Scout doors. So ideas that you can do at home, but also back at the hall, um, wherever you obviously are um, in your weekday. Now then, obviously I know whilst we've been off, you guys have been setting up camp indoors and some of you have been more adventurous and actually done it in your gar back gardens. So that's quite cool. So what I'm gonna teach you is some top tips. Now these top tips came from my Orange Army. So they're a Facebook group um, that's basically helped me out with content, um, sharing Scoutadelic stuff, um, and generating ideas. So this is one of, obviously, their top tips for you. So, how do you stay warm whilst sleeping in a tent? Number one. Most of us will take a blanket with us, but did you know that actually it's you get more cold air from the bottom of the tent rather than actually the top of the tent? So you want more underneath you. So you might think in a normal house situation that you'd put your blanket over yourself to wrap you up. When well, in a tent situation, you want actually most of it underneath you. And also, if, you, if you're used to like a carry mat or I've got an uh, inflatable air, air bed, the more layers you have underneath you, the warmer you probably will be. Number two, hat and fluffy socks. It may sound weird, but you wanna keep as much heat in your body as possible. So having a hat on whilst you Obviously going to sleep and fluffy socks. Now, fluffy socks are usually better because, well, they're fluffy and they're, they're cool to sleep in. But yes, they'll keep obviously the heat into your body and keep you a little bit more thirstier than you would normally. Number three, change your day clothes. Now I know it's going to be cold on a night time, but you need to change out of your day clothes into night clothes. Um, if you are like, sort of going to be freezing cold for that a pure few seconds, then what you can do is obviously warm up obviously the clothes that you're about to wear um, with your body heat, or like if you've got like a few layers under your jumper just to get it warm, sit on it, anything like that. But definitely change out of your day clothes to your night clothes, and obviously back in the morning again. Number four, roll it back up. Now, it may sound weird, but don't unroll your sleeping bag and your carry mat or your roll mat or whatever you call it. Make sure that it's always rolled back up because it's containing some heat and it's not getting that much cold, okay? It may sound weird, but I always got taught that when I was a scout, that you roll it back up and then obviously roll it back out uh, during the night. Number five, it takes two to keep the tent warm. So if you're on your own, you know, you can cuddle something that's orange. Or if you are fortunate or unfortunate to be sharing a tent with um, other people, my advice, pack some earplugs because you never know one of them may just snore in the middle of the night. And I always pack this so that I know exactly where they are I, can, I don't disturb anyone, I can rummage in my bag, that, get them out, put them in, boom. Sleep, hopefully, better than I would have. Number six, don't drink too much before you go to bed and go to the toilet. Trust me, there have been many a time that I have got snuggled down, got nice and warm, ready to fall asleep and boom, I need to go to the toilet. So we tell that to obviously the cups and the scouts and everyone else to go to the toilet before you go to bed. Well, you do the same. Simple. And lastly, if you're still cold, why not try a hammock? Just saying, I have found that I'm more warm and toasty in a hammock swinging from two trees than I ever have been in a tent on the floor. The hammock is obviously off the floor so you're not getting the cold air from directly from the ground and kind of rocks you to sleep. And now and again, 
if you do get a good enough like sort of ground sheet over you, you might be able to see the stars. What what more is that? So I want to thank the Orange Army for uh, helping me out with this video today. Um, if you have any uh, further tips, then comment below. Uh, I'd love to hear it on Facebook, uh, any of the social medias that we're on. Um, and also today, our amazing Orange Army can get their hands on these exclusive Orange Army neckerchiefs. They're only available to the people in our Facebook group. Um, so yeah, so they'll be um, enjoying that surprise today. Otherwise, I want to see uh, what you guys, what your tips are on social media. So don't forget to tag us in. Um, and yeah, I will hopefully see you soon. Um, so don't forget to like, subscribe and share and all that jazz. And I'll see you again soon for another one of these. Bye.